This is not a travel vlog. This is a film about connection. I spent one month traveling through China and I stayed with three strangers along the way. These are the lessons that they taught me and the beautiful moments that we shared. Uh, I'm in China. Yo! <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello, Internet. This is Gypsy. I will try my best to tell his story, but it's not an easy one. Do you think I can sit on it? You see, all the strangers on my journey through China, I met online. But really, there's only so much understanding you can get from someone before meeting in person. And Gypsy, he was quite the surprise. So this is your place. His place was unlike anything I've really ever seen. What a place, man. It was four stories tall and completely covered in his very own artwork. A museum, or rather a sanctuary of creative energy. This is your room? Yeah. This I clean. This area is mainly for painting. You know when somebody so passionately exudes a certain vibe? That was Gypsy, with all things creative, all things artistically tasteful. How do you feel when you're in this space? Safe. Mm. This is the word that I created for myself so that I can feel heard, I can speak, and I can feel accepted. Mm. Morning. What are you from filming? Gypsy was invited to walk in a fashion show that week. But before the event, there was a rehearsal. And this is your first runway show? Uh, officially, yeah. And is that exciting? <laughs> okay, so I may not know much about the fashion scene, but after some minor contemplation, I think it was obvious that Gypsy, he knew what he was doing. Okay, there's Gypsy. There he is. <laughs> the director in hat told me that he really likes my walk. Yes! Yeah. You're a natural! You think that would get on me? I don't, I don't know. So Gypsy, big question for you. How have you arrived to this place of such confidence? Oh, I'm still on the way. I'm not confident enough still. I think I felt alone all the time. Unseen, unheard, unrecognized. I feel like the struggle is always there. You cannot just hide from it. Ah, uh, you should wear this. You are going to an art center opening tomorrow. Yeah, I think I like this. Really? Yes. You mentioned about hiding. Do you feel like you used to hide? I had a lot until now. Why do you think I wear our sunglasses? Why are you wearing sunglasses? To hide. You see my sunglasses? The next day, we headed to the actual fashion show. And I could tell, despite a little nerves, Gypsy felt ready. What's your confidence level? 10. Oh, good. I have learned a lesson during this journey of confidence. Now I realize that I always used art or clothes, fashion sometimes to hide. That's not a good thing. So what does this whole thing feel like for you, Gypsy? I, a dream come true. This is what I've been practicing in my bathroom for a really long time. Oh, that's, that's so good. Yeah. Well, good luck. You'll do great. Thank you. I'll be watching. Thank you. No screen. It's not bruising to hide from myself, to escape from what I have. You don't have to hide anymore. At least feel better every day without anything to conceal. I think I learned that this year. Congratulations. How's the show? It was good. I have no idea. I'll never forget that week with Gypsy. <laughs> his vision and ideas, his take on things. I was such a happy citizen in Gypsy's world, and it's a place that I will continue to learn from.
I am now in Chongqing, by the way. Hello. Hello. Hello, baby. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, this is Tian and her family, and this is the story of the city of Chongqing. Hey, thank you for, for speaking English. <laughs> Tian's bright optimism was what I noticed first. She was born and raised in Chongqing, yeah. as was her friend Lele. My name is Lele. Lele. Who eat uh, rice yes. noodles? Yes. <laughs> You know, I couldn't have asked for a better introduction to this incredibly unique and mysterious city. You see, Chongqing is actually the largest city proper in the entire world, with a population of over 30 million people. And I had the absolute privilege of sharing a week of life with a few of them. My mom. Oh, ni hao. I met Tian's mom, Tian's twin sons, yeah. and their father. Son? Oh, son. He want to give you the chocolate. Oh, thank you. Chocolate milk. My curiosity for the city of Chongqing grew the more I got to know Tian and her beautiful family. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Lucy is a... Mrs. Smith's daughter. Mrs. Smith. Lucy is a Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> So, Tian, Hello, Luke. <laughs> I've traveled to many cities in the world, but I've never seen a city like Chongqing. It's so big and bright and magical. What do you think about your city? Now? Yeah. In, in English? No, in Chinese. In Chinese, yeah. Yeah. The time I spent with Tian was filled with stories about the city's past and how far it's come. Everyone I spoke with walks the streets with such pride, but things were not always this way. Anything else you want to tell the city? Like a message to Chongqing? So oh, a oh, message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now? Yeah. I love Chongqing. If you want to go to the next place, how can you go? It's beautiful. It's amazing. Yes. Uh, it's uh, beautiful to me. Twenty-six. Today you will leave, so yesterday is my birthday, but I cried so sad yesterday. Goodbyes are hard. But that's what connecting with somebody means. <clears throat> it's beautiful to feel sad. <laughs> the electric and energy-filled personification of the city I got to know. Hello, I'm in Yangshua. Hey, cool. thanks for picking me up. Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Sam, and I never expected where we'd go together. I was greeted by his four-year-old son at the door. Hello. This is my child. And shared dinner with his beautiful family. 
After spending the previous weeks in the cities, the calmness of the mountain town of Yangshuo was evident. This is where you grew up. Yeah, yeah, this is where I grew up. When someone is, was born and raised here, you can't really see the beauty. But um, for me, I really like it. In my eye, it's still very beautiful. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you can see that beauty. Yeah. 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 What I realized about Sam, he is the perfect representation of this area in the flesh. You've traveled around a bit, right? A little bit. Yeah. Is there any spot that you've wanted to visit around here that you've never visited? Well, uh, you know, I really want to go to the China and Vietnam border. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, hey. Bye. 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 And like that, just one day after meeting, Sam and I were both committed to drive all the way to the Vietnam border just for the sake of it. The journey would take us four days, all on the back of a motorbike. And on the back of a motorbike, not only do we see everything, we also feel everything. We're sore a little bit. But if you ask both of us, we wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, another day. Yay! Back on the road. Yeah, hey! <laughs> when we're driving for hours and hours, what goes through your head? Yeah, sometimes I thought about her. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thought, about, thought about my kid as well. Sure. So how do you feel now? Very excited. <laughs> First time in a long time. Oh, good. I can't imagine what it feels like to have a kid. <laughs> you have all these ups and downs and enjoy sorrow. Just makes me want to be a better man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two guys in very different phases of life mm. coming together. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, you're the craziest foreign I've ever met. Why? Why am I crazy? Like, no one would go on a trip like this with me. <laughs> Four days later, right before arriving to the Vietnam border, we were unexpectedly stopped at the pre-border checkpoint and we ran into our first problem. They think I'm a journalist because my super fancy camera and microphone and they're not letting us continue. Is it dangerous for you at all, this situation? Not very dangerous. We are not doing something silly or anything like that. Sorry, man. Oh, yeah. It's all right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault. No. <laughs> Okay, we're trying it again today. Yeah, hey. Okay, putting the cameras away. Is this a journalist t-shirt? You know, I don't think either of us really cared that much about getting to the border. Although we did set the goal, I think it was just an excuse to go on a trip together. <laughs> we did it! Woo! See, Sam sees it the way I do. We're walking to the border. Of course, it's meaningful to take in the sights and experience the world around us. There it is. That's Vietnam. But there is truly nothing more special than a good friend. If there's something And as I reflect on my month-long trip through China and the three new friends that I made, that is home. I'm filled to the brim with the purest form of gratitude. What else is more important in this lifetime? Then loving the people around us, seeing the good. Thank you to Gypsy, Tian, and Sam. I know you guys feel what I feel. What else are we here for? Thank you so much. Godspeed. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. This is it. I'm so gonna miss you, man. I'll miss you too, man.
Hi guys, welcome to my mini studio apartment here in Vietnam where I'm editing this project. I'd like to take some time to thank the sponsor of this trip, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN keeps your internet identity safe by encrypting all the information sent from your device to the internet. And coming from someone who had their credit card information stolen from them from a Wi-Fi network at a hostel in Mexico, you do want to be protected. You do. And on top of your protection, a VPN can swap your device's location with a new one, so you can kind of virtually travel the world. You may or may not know that different airlines and hotels offer different prices depending on where you're, you're browsing from. Change your location and suddenly it's cheaper. It's magic. How often do you want to watch content that isn't available in your country? Use the VPN. And to get an exclusive Surfshark holiday deal, enter promo code LUKEHORNS to get up to six additional months for free. Go to surfshark.deal. Lucorn. Surfshark also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's really no risk in trying it. So check the link in the description below. Thank you, guys.